Hello, Ryu Serpentine here again. I am uh, going to be showing off a couple of Yokai Watch merchandise I picked up today. I have not gotten the watch quite yet. Uh, GameStop is going to call me as soon as they get their stock in. Um, but I picked up two of the vinyl figures. Uh, first that I have here is Jibanyan. And let's get a good look at him. Uh, it's hard to find where my camera is. Uh, Hopefully that's clear to, to you guys. Uh, I want to show off the nice artwork before I completely destroy it. When I open the package because that artwork is not going to survive. And I also picked up NoCo because this was the only NoCo that the store had. Again, nice artwork that's going to get destroyed as soon as I open it. Uh, take a break, and I'll be back as soon as these are opened up. And I am back. Okay, uh, the figures did manage to the packages did manage to stay relatively intact. Uh, there's Jabanyan, uh, so you can see more of the package there. And of course, Noko, who was for whatever reason a lot easier to open. And I am sorry about the sun glare. I, again, I do not have a good room to do this in. Alright, uh, before we get to the figures themselves, uh, it does come with a checklist of the uh, different uh, Yokai Metal Moment figures. I believe that's what they are officially called, though it does not say anywhere on the package. You see there's Jibanya, Komasan, Noko, Whisper, and Tattletap. I will be picking up all of these at some point. I might go back for Tile later. She happens to be my favorite. And of course, it's not Yokai Watch merchandise if it does not come with the medals. Now I believe this Jabalion medal is different from both the pre-order medal and the one that comes with the watch. So it so you could and I believe the one in the uh, Transforming figure is different as well. So you could potentially have four different uh, Jibanyan medals. I believe the NYCC one is the, actually the same as the Pause of Fury, though I do not know for sure. And of course here is Noko's medal. to get that the right side up. Uh, sticker might be a bit awkward on some of these uh, just due to the way they have to fit on the metal. I know that people have found upside down ones. Um, I will not be showing the QR codes at the moment so I need to get them registered in the app first. Um, my account is actually on my mom's phone so I do not have access to that at the moment. As soon as they're registered in there I will put the QR codes up so you guys can uh, read them to get your uh, coins in the game. And now, on to the figures themselves. Uh, these figures actually look pretty nice standalone. Uh, here's Noko. As you can see, it's very detailed. I heard some people finding ones that have uh, paint damage and whatnot. I have not really seen anything like that. If there is, it's not that obvious. Um, feels really nice. Of course, they are vinyl. Um, they appear to. Moko appears to have a little hole in the bottom. I'm not sure why. I don't know if that's just uh, how the tail is attached. Doesn't matter, nobody will ever be looking at that part of it. And uh, while I have no co here, uh, we'll uh, see how uh, he looks with the metal. It's 
seems to be a bit difficult to get in. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to be testing something, so you just bear with me another moment. Okay, it just took a bit of effort to uh, get him in, uh, to get the metal in. Uh, so there's Noko holding his metal, or biting it rather. Pretty cute. It just took a bit of effort. He does have a, a groove at the bottom to help hold the metal, so you can uh, completely move this around without any uh, issue of the metal falling out. Turn it upside down, stays in there. Put it like this, stays in there. So, on Noko, it's very secure. Next up, we of course have Jibanyan. And Jibanyan actually can stand on his own. Uh, his tail helps to tails help to support him. Uh, in his case, the metal actually goes with a separate display piece. Uh, so I'll try to uh, hold that up for you guys once I have that there. Uh, there's a better view, I believe. Again, very detailed. It's got his flame. Got all the painting you you expect from from a vinyl figure, so it's not like there's anything missing from him. Now for Jabanyan. The metal actually just goes into a stand here. Uh, and uh, it actually feels pretty secure. Uh, let's see. Yep, you can call it completely upside down. It's not going anywhere. So, uh, you can display him like this. Uh, behind him might actually be supposed to be the thing of him being hit by the truck. Uh, I'm not sure. It's definitely not his cause of fury attack, that's for sure. Um, I will uh, show you guys everything else once I get it. Um, and see you guys later. Bye!